All right, everybody, we are back. Let's get right back into it. You guys exit the Halls of Revelation. What would you like to do? It's now well, probably a little bit past noon, so like halfway through the day. Okay, okay. Well, we could go pay uh, Endor Henslow a visit since we learned this information about him. And I've got his business card. So mm -hmm. I can find him. Um, mm -hmm. We could... We could try... You know, I feel like maybe we could try to convince him not to move those funds around. Because it seems like Lady Evil is got her talons, her mind talons, sunk into House Salig, right? That's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the people in House Salig are trying to buy this loot because somehow she knows that we want it. I don't like that. Yeah, or she wants it for herself. Yeah. As a weapon like the dragons, I think. Yeah, she's trying to gather all the things that we need. I just want to clarify, yeah. Lady Evil, you mean <laughs> Admiral Razak or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Admiral yeah. Evil to Lady yeah. Well, yeah, we I'm all sorry. come up colloquially what she's <laughs> Not known as. Duchess Alexandrine Selig, the head of House Selig. Oh no, I don't know oh, her fair well enough. enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I no, don't know no, her no. well enough. She could she could be Lady Evil too. Sure, but, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Evil the second, mm -hmm. but um, Lady Evil, the number two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, look, only noon. Let's, yeah, I don't mind paying this guy a visit. Do we know where, I mean, I guess we would just, this is business card, I have an address where yeah, you would find him. Yeah. Cool. Let's check it out. All right. Yeah, that's good. Let's just check he doesn't, like, you know, mind control y two way mirror us or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I don't know. I mean, my senses are not always correct. He might not be the, most upstanding of citizens, but I don't think he's I don't think he's under mind control or a mind controller right. himself. The fact that but, he has doubts about the situation makes me feel like not under control. Yeah. It's an in, yeah. I feel like he is a slightly smug rich person, but it's still worth a try. Yeah. Well, we could play that up and see if he's going to the circus. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. We could impress him with our ticket. Mm -hmm, Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cal just cool. pulls out the tickets and looks at Just them. wave them around. <laughs> <laughs> but you can play that game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quick uh, quick uh, perception checks, everybody. Okay. Sure. Um, that is a 19 plus 6. Got a 25. Wow. Um, 16 minus 1, 15. Eleven. Yeah, Cal, you don't see this because you're too busy being like, ooh, my tickets. Um, <laughs> Helena, you see one person, one person that looks perhaps a little bit on the scruffier side, kind of notice Cal holding up those tickets. Sadis, you notice like five pickpockets in the area kind of go, ooh, her yeah. tickets. Um, like that is a person with a thing that is very valuable and they seem to be waving it around. Cal, you you might want to put those away. I think there might be uh, folks around that might want to get their hands on them, literally. Oh, yeah. You're, you're probably... Yeah. That's right. Go whispering. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> keep, it in, keep it in your uh, your front pocket there. Yeah, yeah. It's it's here. It's safe. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's, let's continue on. Okay. Excellent. And I'll just sort of, like, keep my hand on the pocket just to make extra sure. But we're heading to uh, Endor Henslow's place of business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Okay. You, eh, it takes you probably about 45 minutes to get there. Um, and it is sort of a pretty posh little nice office. Um, it has kind of, like, 
it's still sort of in the nice part of town. So there's some like palm trees planted outside, some like nice fancy cacti. As you come in, there is sort of this like n little waiting area that has been neatly set up. And a um, dwarf man sitting at a desk will look up and kind of go, Afternoon, what can I do you for? Hi there. We're here to see Mr. Henslow. Uh-huh. Is this uh, for a uh, new account, for a uh, new business? What? Who should I say is calling? Tell him Sally's here. Okie dokie. One I'm pretty moment, sure please. that's what I said my name was. It is what you said, because <laughs> I thought yeah. like Sally Selsung. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he will go, and the moment later, you will hear as the door opens, as the door opens, and Endor Enslow returns and sort of goes, Ah! Fancy meeting you again so quickly. Um, here, come, come on back. Let's, we can have a cup of tea and some biscuits. That sounds lovely. Come this way, come this way. Um, and you will sort of go into his little office where he has both a desk and, like, a little coffee table area with a couple of chairs around it. It is, needless to say, fucking spotless. Um, like, the only evidence of work is these, like, four thick black ledgers that you glance at his desk. But other than that, it is just, like, the neatest, most spotless office that you've ever been to. Um, and a moment after that, his dwarf assistant will come in with sort of like a tray and some tea and like place it on the desk um and Endor Henslow will thank him and kind of go uh didn't expect to see you again quite so soon um did you think of something else different favor that I can do for you of to thank you for saving my money yesterday yeah we thought we might do something to save you more money okay we heard from a little bird that you are managing the uh, the funds of House Salix. Yeah, the little bird being me when you eavesdropped on my conversation. Yeah, it was yes, you. Yes, yeah, we, am, we, we totally. I am, I am aware, <laughs> Sally. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Uh, my my associates and I, we're here on some business, and. We think it would not be in your best interest to allow House Selig to move those that money to purchase whatever they're intending to at the auction. Um, that is not for me to decide, and that is not for... I can only do what my clients have instructed me. And that is the last that I want to hear of it. Now, let's please just have these biscuits. Um, and call... Just, like, have, like, some, like, nice, pleasant small talk. Okay? Um, and, um... Actually, give me one moment. And he will rise. And open the door. And he will sort of go... Um... William? William? Uh, I just noticed I am completely out of ink. Could you run to the shop and get me some? But not like that. Like, but like the other one. The, yes, the one <laughs> on the other side of town. Yes, that would that would really be ideal. The, yes, the good one. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yes. You know how I am about my ink. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and the moment later, you hear the distant sound of like the front door opening and closing as the assistant leaves, and then he will close the door and come back around and go. Okay, who are you and what are you talking about? Because I am interested. <laughs> but what? All right, first things first. My name isn't Sally. I'm Cal. Mm hmm. And these are my friends and associates. Uh, this is, and I'll let you introduce yourselves. We do. Hello, yeah. Hellstorm. Hello. Satis, hello. Okay, nice to meet the two of you and nice to properly meet you, Cal. What do you have against House Salig? Well, it's not House Salig per se, but it's who they've gotten in bed with. We have reason to believe that they are working for, or on behalf of, 
a rather bad person. Mm-hmm. And I think Cal will tell him in very sparse detail um, about their time with Admiral Razak and that she is potentially mind controlling House Selig and has distinctly nefarious intentions. He will nod and go, why, that is, um, okay, that's a lot, that's a lot to take in, um, I have never seen or heard of this admiral, but I know that House Salig is now doing a lot of business with, um, the Solonese Navy and with Solonese interests in general, um, that is where a lot of the trade that they've been doing has been going to lately. And it's true that especially folks that work in a couple of their warehouses now tend to have a very sort of strange, dazed look. So that could be what you're talking about. Um, And that would also account for a lot of things that have been happening these past couple of months. Strange business decisions that make no sense to me. Weird gambles, investments in things that don't pay off. Um, I still have no idea how they came back from financial ruin. One day they just got this injection of money and they still won't tell me where it came from. They haven't done anything illegal yet, but it is certainly unsavory to say the least. And now they've asked me to set aside a quarter of a million gold to have on hand and liquid for this auction. They can't spend that money. They don't... Um... They can't afford it. Well... I can't, you know, reasonably say that this favor is worth what I did for you last night. But if there's any way that you can withhold that money or or keep them from from being able to use it at the auction I'm not saying this lightly but it might just save the world you're gonna need to exp- to, to connect those two dots <laughs> for me I can't I can't tell you, we can't tell you all the details. We don't have all the details, but we know that this lady is bad news and she is powerful. And she and what she wants at this, op- at this auction is a very powerful object. And if she gets it, we're all in trouble. He'll think for a moment and he'll sort of go. So, Let me get this straight. The important thing is that this woman, whoever she is, not be able to buy this object. You guys need it. You guys need to get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do. And I would actually really like House Salig to not completely collapse as a force of business in the city. That would put me out of business. It would put a lot of people out of business. My cousin and my fiance both work for them. Um, oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You know, we're thinking of a June wedding. I would have rather done something in the winter, but, you know, it involves travel. <laughs> we don't need to get into it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Well... Here's, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that I can't really do anything to stop it. The funds have already been moved. They're in a they're in a state of liquid. We cashed in investments. We sold off things. Um, so I really can't think of anything that I can do to stop them from spending money that is theirs and at their disposal. Um, the good news is that I can think of a solution to both of our problems. 
which oh, yeah? is that if somebody were to sometime before Saturday when the auction is break into vault C27 in the Tower of Coin, the main bank in the city, and suddenly leave it without coin, that would leave House Salig without the money that they would need on hand to be able to guarantee their um, participation in the auction. And while House Salig's credit line is currently maxed out, their holdings in that bank are insured. So two weeks later, provided that there was no investigation saying that anything came directly from House Salig in the robbery, they would get that money back. It would just be not in time to make the auction. So <laughs> if someone, literally anyone in the world, were uh -huh. to take the money that is currently in that vault, that would solve that problem. Um, and that, if they had the support of a different house, that money could even be used perhaps to buy one of the items in the auction. Wow. That sounds pretty perfect. Hypothetically speaking. Yes. Hypothetically yes. speaking. Of course. Of, of course. Yes, yes. Of course. This knowledge came to you from an entirely different source. Uh, oh, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Just, um, you... This, this encounter never even happened. I think that we can all agree that we only met in a dream and not in mm -hmm. real life. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I think this has been a very edifying discussion. Yes, very illuminating. Yes. And um, you know, you know, uh, you know, Cal. Uh, another thing occurs to me that um, really you gave me um, so much. Um, so you you gave back to me so much when you stopped that mugging. Um, here, one moment, and he will go to his desk and he will open a drawer, and he will return with what you recognize is a credit chit um, for the Tower of the Coin, and he will go. Here you go. Um, if you go there tomorrow, that is worth about a thousand gold, enough for you to open your account and to be able to demand an inspection of their vaults to determine that their quality is up to snuff. Um, and that way you can see all of the things that will be guarding the money I am giving to you. Appreciate that. Yes. Mm. Um, hang on a second. He will go to an envelope, to his desk again, and, like, take an envelope and write something and then slip it onto the envelope, and then he will go, um, go to Tina's on 19th Street. Um, show her that letter. They'll take care of the expenses of it. Uh, you will need to look like the kind of people that have a thousand gold to deposit into an account in the Tower of the Coin. So that should outfit you with some uh, new threads. Maybe not something custom made. We are working on a schedule. But something at least to leave you a little shinier than you are right now. Huh. <laughs> Wonderful. And, and maybe even perhaps we could wear it to the Twilight Requiem? If... What? What? You, are, you, have, you have tickets to the Twilight Requiem? Maybe. Maybe not. Well, now I'm just confused. Yes, yes we, we do. We have, we have tickets. Someone, someone gifted us tickets. We don't know who, That's but a... we do know... Uh, we do know they're pricey, so it would feel rude not to I, attend. I was but going we are to confused. say, that's a generous secret admirer that you have. Yeah. We're a little worried about who it is. But I thought maybe it could have been you, but... No. I have some amount of wealth to 
give out in special circumstances, but not that level of it. Understood. Well, in any case, I'll feel much better with some new threads. I'm sure we all will. <laughs> mm. All right. Terrific. Well, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I sincerely say this with everything in my heart. Uh, we never met, and I never want to see any of you ever again. For everyone's Understood. safety. Understood. Let's keep it that way. Yep. And I think a moment. Nonetheless, thank you for the tea. Yes, and yes, we'll get... you are very welcome. And I think a moment later, you are back on the street. Well, things are getting interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have on our dance card, fancy party, fancy circus party, uh, uh, robbing a bank vault, mm -hmm. and, uh, and pulling an art heist. So, uh... We've got our work cut out for us. We have a busy, busy schedule ahead. We sure do. Let's go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I don't think that no, we need to great. kind of like role play this too much. I think that it can be sort of like okay. the montage of like, you know, like the fancy clothing store. Bam, the door bursts yeah. open. And like at first the proprietor yeah. is like, can I help you find the exit? And then you show her the letter. Yeah. Oh, it's shot for shot, pretty woman. Nice. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. you go yeah. in, they're yeah. snooty, you come back, big mistake, huge. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. For sure. Um, and yeah, and then you know, it's like trying on different clothes and just like, no, go get me another one and like all that stuff. Um, just like at the end of that process, what are the new clothes that you are wearing? Like, what? How are you decked out now? Oh. Hmm. Is it so? It's like fan. What what types of? Is it just for the gala or for the circus? Or so is this like our new like everyday you, he, wear? He has given you like each of you a like good for one full outfit at this fancy clothiers. Um, yeah. He is. His intention was you need these clothes to look like fancy rich assholes when you go to the bank tomorrow. If Got you. It. Yeah also want to do, have it be stylish rich assholes and have it be for the circus tonight, <laughs> that's okay. But you are getting one set of fancy clothes out gotcha. of this man's, okay. like, open account at this store. Then, yeah, I feel like Santos is going to two for one and get, like, a nice fancy suit that could pass both as I'm a fancy businessman and then also I am out for a night at the town. So probably, like... Probably like a nice suit, but in like a, fu a f one of those things where it's like it's a fun color, but not like an obnoxious color. Uh -huh. So maybe like mm. slightly uncommon for a suit. So maybe like a like a like a deep red or something mm. where it's like, mm. ah, not so yeah, out there like that it's deep, like, like ah, you red or something. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, yeah. that's not normal, but we're not like this person wouldn't go to an office. And it's something like that, maybe with a little like shimmering pinstripes and like a cool lining on the inside of the jacket. Totally. Maybe one of those little like uh like vest with a chain kind of thing. I don't yeah. know. I don't have fancy suits. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a monocle. Oh, yes, <laughs> part of, of your yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> nice, nice. Cal and Helena. Yeah, I think um I think Cal chooses like it's also a suit. Um, and she's got like a button up vest and it's like, I think it's, it's black velvet, but you know how black velvet sometimes looks like purpley mm -hmm. or something. So I think it's that kind of color and a nice set of like leather dress boots. Um, I like it. And, nice. I, and I think, and I think, um, there's a, you know, there's like a coat over it too that has the really long tail. So like. From the back, it almost looks like a dress, but um, but it's a it's a suit. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Uh, Helena has a uh, white shirt with a little frill here and a little frilly <laughs> sleeves. Mm -hmm. uh, black jacket, silver buttons, uh, very fancy black trousers, and a little bit of a half cape. Ooh, oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's terrific. Ooh. And I, I think Cal mm -hmm. gets a little walking stick too. Nice. Yes. Yes. Nice. Walking stick. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Very good. Very we good. look great. <laughs> we do. Cool. So I think by the time that like that gets wrapped up, 
it's probably like 4 35 ish you have a couple of hours before the start of the twilight requiem uh what do you guys want to do do we need to be getting dispelling scrolls oh yeah at the very least, we could figure out where to get them, what they cost, stuff like yeah, that. Like, yeah, Let's at recce. least investigate what the situation is. Yeah. Um, roll me an investigation check. Let's see. That would be a nine. Okay. Yes, Emma? It's a natural one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not very Snoopy. No. Uh, 11. So, um, Sadis and Cal, you guys kind of strike out at, like, finding yeah. this, uh, a, like, a store that is just, like, a magic items and sundry store. Um, Cal, you eventually do find one, but, like, mm -hmm. you kind of trip into it and you sort of say a couple of, like, the wrong things to the clerk. And so when they're, like a scroll of dispelling, they're like, woo, all right. <laughs> Someone is asking for, like, the rare, powerful stuff. That'll be 700 gold. Um, oh, okay. Helena, you're able to find a different store that will let it go for 150 gold. Okay. Uh, do, do you take credit notes? Because we're very rich. Yeah. <laughs> As long as you have something that has been verified and stamped by the Tower of the Coin or a similar bank, yes. I see. We'll be back tomorrow, maybe. All right, very good. Yeah. Um. Everybody roll me a d20 just to see if a thought would cross your mind. 17. 17 or so. 7. Not teen. teen. No thoughts, only <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think that, like, while Cal is still like, I look so good, I'm so excited for this carnival, mm -hmm. Helen yeah. and Sadis, both of you are like, wait a minute. Is there a local branch of the Eye of the Storm around here? I was going to say, I'm have we, we have we keened yeah. into a mave yet? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, you haven't yet, but it takes um, a little while of asking before someone has any idea of what you're talking about, but, like, you do get mm -hmm. directed towards a place called the... What was it called? Let me look at my notes. The Storm Market, um, which you know, Cal, is basically a open-air market outside of the city limits, where uh -huh. it is a little bit of kind of, you know... It's hyper-capitalist everywhere in Basarinath, everywhere in Seldoran. There's not a lot of regulation but there are a couple of things within the city that are just kind of like, ah, you know, the equivalent of like, maybe don't trade opium like out in the yeah. open in front of the kids. The store market is a little bit of kind of like, look, if, you, if you're going there, you know what you're getting into. Um, and so it's a lot of kind of, you know, like open air weapons dealing, a lot of open air drug dealing, a lot of open air, just kind of no questions asked trade, a lot of kind of like, you know, things that are like, we do business on cash up front. We don't give receipts. Um, mm -hmm. And somebody tells you that, like, yeah, like, they remember a, like, establishment there of the Eye of the Storm. Huh. Awesome. Should we go pay Maeve a visit? 100%. Okay. Uh, roll me in another investigation check, then. <laughs> Five, ten. And how did you do, Mike? Oh, oh I muted. muted. I muted myself, and I said eleven. Ah, cool. Uh, I like to imagine that, like, Cal is a little distracted because she thinks that she keeps seeing people that she knows, and so she keeps kind yeah. of, like, you know, like, depending yeah. on who it is, either, like, darting behind a barrel to not be seen, yeah, yeah, or kind yeah. of being like, oh, yeah, no, 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 it's not that person. All yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Like, Waving. <laughs> you go off to yeah. the store market, and, yeah, and, like, instantly, like, the vibe is, like, very, very heavy. Um, and eventually, after, like, a, about an hour of asking, you are directed to a 
pretty ramshackle little tent which is currently closed on the outskirts of the market and which has like a wooden sign out front of it that just says eye of the storm ring doorbell for service um and then like a little bell that like is on the side huh Mm -hmm. okay then ringing the bell Hmm. you hear the familiar sound and a moment later you can kind of now like look through the flaps of the tent to see that there is a wooden door behind it. Ooh. Shall we open the door? Yeah. Okay. And as you open the door, you are met with the familiar side of Maeve at her store. Um, and she will look up from the sort of, like, main counter area where she's writing some things down, a scroll of parchment, and she'll go, Ah! It's you three. You made it down south pretty quickly. Come in, come in, Thanks. shut the door. Don't track too much sand inside. Oh, God. Oops, it's, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. It just sorry. kind of comes just, just, in. Just shut the yeah, door. It's everywhere. Just, just, yes. <sighs> How are you? Well, slightly worse now. I hate sand. What's the joke? It's coarse. <laughs> And, and it gets everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yeah. You get used to it. I, I I promise. All right. So, how are you doing? How are your three children? Well, mm. as 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 I think we mentioned, we um we've lost them, haven't we? Um have but we know taken. where they are. Just yes, we do we now. Have to get it's them back. It's been quite the. It's been quite the couple of weeks. Yeah, Maeve, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what can I do for you? I don't know. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I do. Um, I mean, obviously, we want to get our dragons back. Uh huh. And we think we know where they are. Good. And we broke in to kind of rescue them, Excellent. which we did very discreetly and cleverly. Terrific. Um, this is so far yeah. operate, we're operating at a high <laughs> level. Well, yeah, you're about to hear the bit where it where it comes unstuck. Um, <laughs> there was this very uh, cunning sort of silvery thing that Helen is not great with understanding what this is. Anyway. Oh, it's an can't... alarm spell. You you need You need a thing to get rid of an alarm spell. We need yeah, a thing to get rid yeah. of an alarm spell. And although we she look very fancy... She reaches into her sleeve and pulls out a scroll. Scroll of the spelling. Huh. 120 gold. Oh, mm. that was a bit I was getting to. Yeah. Although we look <laughs> very, very fancy I was as going ever. to say. Um, do you like my cloak? It's a half one. It's yeah. quite nice. Isn't it? Got a cane. Um, actually, no one said we had to give these back. It's true. The cl- yeah, the I think they're ours. Yeah. yeah, they're yours. Yeah. Huh. Well, would you take fancy clothes on account instead of cash? No. Ugh. I can give you this out on a loan with an understanding that you will pay me back, say, 200 gold in the next 10 days. If all goes according to plan, we we should be pretty liquid soonish. Good. I like it when things go according to plan. Well, you know us. Your plans <laughs> are great plans. <laughs> so? Team huddle. Team huddle. Mhm. Okay. Mm. I just want to I just want to be clear on what what our plan actually is. I mean, sure. I know the, I know the broad strokes. I know the no, broad yeah, let's, strokes, let's but... chat it out. This is filling yeah. me with great confidence. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be fine, Maeve. It's going to be fine. Yeah. It always is. We missed you too. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So here, the, the, thing, the things we're planning to do mm-hmm. are potentially break into this bank vault. We've got this credit chit that will get us in and is good for a thousand gold. Mm-hmm. So in theory, we'll have that money. Correct. But in terms of actually breaking into the vault itself, do we want to outsource to someone a little more practiced at 
ah, look, we use some of the extra thousand to pay for other people to do the breaking. You know, maybe we maybe. need an acrobat tonight. Maybe yeah. we talk to our city. I think that's I think that is smart to basically divvy up the thousand amongst people helping us. When you put it into perspective that way is 200 for this, you know, this magical assisting worth it? I would say so. I don't know how many people were putting together. I don't know what the going rates of these thieves could be, but I think the 200 yeah. of this could be well spent. Quick, quick, quick uh, perspective sidebar. Um, yeah. Mm. You have a thousand gold on hand as of tomorrow morning, effectively. And if right. the plan goes well, a quarter of a million gold that you are stealing from the bank right. vault. And right. Which presumably yeah. you will need to spend most or some of it in the auction yeah depending on how wild yeah. you go in the auction and how many other things you will want to buy in the auction because spoilers it is not mm -hmm. just a loot that is going on auction there will be other things there as well got it uh 200 gold will not put a dent yeah. in that if you get that money <laughs> yeah here's the we question also... even what we have a couple of days what if we yeah do the bank thing tomorrow and if we yeah. do successfully have a thousand gold to throw around we I can come back to Maeve tomorrow be... and yeah. buy it straight up yeah, unless we want to break into the warehouse tonight. Which we did I initially think, think we would. We thought we, we did, would, but we but... do have a new evening endeavor. So yes. I feel like we might be a little busy. So I think we could yeah, always tomorrow fair. do Poor the bank thing during the day, get the money, go back to Maeve's, get the thing, and then break into the warehouse tomorrow night. The other thing we have to do is we need um, we need another family to sponsor us, right? Mm. Yes. Because we, we can't just go and bid on stuff we need so we need to talk to somebody in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one of the mm -hmm. families okay yes okay so we've got we've got some stuff to do we probably are not going to be going back to the warehouse tonight so we can come back to Maeve tomorrow Maeve yeah. will sort of go. So let yeah. me let me see if I overheard things correctly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me let me let me get this straight. So you know where your dragons are being kept. Yeah. Your dragons, who you love, who are presumably not feeling terrific about being separated from you forcefully. Um, and you were going to deal with that today, but now a different thing has come up. So you're not going to do that until later in the week. See, I slightly agree. Um, yeah, it's just all in about case perspective. Something yes. bad happens. Um, in no, between. yeah, abs no, no, no. Consider things. I'm just, I'm just reflecting back what I, what, what, what drops I eaved. I feel mm. like, given what event is happening tonight, that we are going to a circus and we might meet someone involved in said circus. They might be able to help us with retrieving dragons uh which could you know we, sure. we need someone we need someone acrobatic for heisty purposes but we could also use someone for you know the other heisty purposes so maybe it's not necessarily we're pushing back getting our our little dragon children but it's more of taking a step backwards so that we can take two steps forward one of those steps being a front flip all right yeah. i don't hate it yeah yeah i i think Either way, Listen, why don't you just take the scroll of dispelling today? That you cut out sort of having to come back here. It's very reasonable of you. Sure. Okay, fine. We'll probably be, we'll probably, you know, we're either going to have a lot of money or no money at all. So, sure. Great. She'll put a small <laughs> glass jar in the needle in front of you and sort of go, who's doing the honors this time? I will. I'm not sure what you mean, but I will. Well, we need oh, the usual yeah. guarantor thing of I need a little bit of your blood just in case you haven't paid me back in 10 days so I can, you know, find you and we can settle things up. Settle things up. That will After be interesting, After all this it? time, Maeve, you don't believe we're good for it? After all this time, you keep coming back here not having money for things? My lord. You know, we're busy, right, trying to save the world, which presumably you are fairly on board with. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I'm very invested in you succeeding in saving the world, but I'm also very confident in you succeeding in saving the world. And once that happens, I need to think about the bottom line. Okay, okay, just take the blood already. That, please. 
<laughs> All right, so a few moments later, you walk out of the Eye of the Storm with a scroll of dispelling on hand, a new debt to Wait. Maeve for 200 gold, um, a slight throbbing sensation in your left hand, Helena, um, mm-hmm. and a shout behind you of, close the door quickly, don't track in more sand. All right. <laughs> Is uh, the, it's too late now. But did we see the 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 Captain Severin ice statue? Oh yeah, it's still oh, there. Yeah. It's still uh, ice. It's still there. Okay, yep, great. It's it's, okay, it's hanging great. out. Yeah, yeah. Me. It's maybe got like a scarf <laughs> hanging over one of its arms now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, let's take five minutes, guys, and then we'll be right okay. back for the last bit of today's episode. <laughs> Sounds good. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>